Pienza and Ricardo Moreno. Slight advantage in the height and reach department for Vinny Paz. And there are your records in the ring. Pazienza 5-0, five, oh, five knockouts, and Moreno 2-0. Five knockouts, very impressive young fighter, a fabled amateur career, Arthur. Yes, I, uh, we both are very impressed with our VP. You would think he was a VP with a company there, Vinny Pazienza. He has the Italian colors on his trunks. They're red, white, and green. And he has the tassels on his shoes, and he, he looks very, very confident and very cocky, as he always is. His best weapon, simply speed. He's been sparring with top ten lightweight Skinny Boxer Orlando Romero, who is getting ready for the fight with Ray Mancini in just a couple of days at Madison Square Garden. And we have noticed that Pazienza, who's wearing the white, has been improving with each fight. And he's, uh, he gets a little showboaty at times, but he's uh, under control. Uh, he has, has been improving, but he has still one bad habit, Steve, and he keeps that left hand entirely too low. If he's in with a good right cross, good right hand punches, he's going to get hurt. He should keep those hands up. There's a sign of it right there. As he is spun around by the Mexican, Ricardo Moreno, and I heard my Sia Mexico now lives in uh, Los Angeles. Pazienza makes his home in uh, Cranston, Rhode Island. When we interviewed uh, uh, our young man, Mr. Moreno, he, we had uh, Los Angeles now for one where he's born, he said Mexico, and I said, well, then he's in for a fight, because the Mexicans are traditionally very, very tough fighters. He's 2-0 with one knockout. He turned pro last year at a 27-3 amateur record, but as we said, Pazienza, a legendary amateur career, he just connected with the right. Benny Pazienza now digging in on Ricardo Moreno. Moreno comes fighting back strong. Well, I tell you what I notice now. I notice that Pazienza gets very, very aggravated, and that's good. Not good. He's not keeping his cool. His face is totally red. He's taking too many shots, and uh, he can't do that. He should back up now and figure out how he can beat this guy properly, not the way he's doing it. And flicking those left jabs, look to go to the body, did Pazienza. Under a minute remaining in this first round, Pazienza was 112 in the amateurs, but the amateurs is the number one rated lightweight, fought for the USA International Boxing Team, decided to forego the Olympics for the pros. Now, I don't know why Paz has his mouth open that way. He's not biting down. His opponent is biting down on the mouthpiece the way you should. It's an indication of perhaps going at it too quickly. Now, from the start of things here, Arthur, it looks like the toughest test in Vinny Pazienza's young professional career. This is only his sixth fight, only the third for Moreno, one of Jimmy Montoya's boxers. Vinny Paz is super anxious. He should settle down. He's in with a good fighter. Hey, Torres! So round one is history as we follow Benny Paz into the corner. That's Lou Dubo over here. You're waiting too long. You're trying to throw too many home runs out there. I want you to box. You got that? I want you to box. Far away. That's right, but move in, move in behind that jab. Move in behind the jab. Now, the scale was there, babe. It's too far away from him. You told you to find That's the first thing that you need to do. Open your mouth and then drink it. In this round. Here's some action with Vinny Paz getting caught that first round. Well, I tell you, I never saw Vinny Paz get hit so much in the first round. He's reckless. He's not... Paz is coming back with his hands down. Look at that. That His left hand goes down. He's, he's in with a dangerous fighter. Come on, Vinny. Get close to the other man. Round two scheduled for six, and Arthur, you hit it right on the nose. Lou Duba expressing his feelings to Vinny Pazienza. Vinny looking to end this thing with one roundhouse punch. Yeah, that's an expression I often use uh, when I'm training fighters in my programs. You're trying to hit with, you're trying to score home runs, and you can't do that. You get reckless, and it really places you off balance. Look at that left hand of Pat Paz. It's entirely down too low. The other corner, if they would instruct their men with the right hand like he just did, that's the way to fight Paz. Moreno told us his best weapon is a strong right cross. This for the right right there is Paz Duck. 
Maybe things will settle down now. Following the wild first round. Nice combination, but look at Moreno come right back. Good countering. Moreno hasn't been around too long. He's only had two fights and one KO, and you can tell, but he's going to make a good fighter. I noticed something about his right eye. His right eye seems to be uh, uh, extremely large compared to the left eye. It seems to be wide open. I don't know what that indicates. But he has looking to connect with that heavy right, but it was a glancing blow. Alex had a nice and easy break. Joey Curtis, the third man of the ring. Has looking very confident. And annoyed. Steve. Uh, he's, uh, he's now he's uh, using that that bolo punch, the kid gavelin bolo punch. I don't know where he's learned that, but that's a waste of energy. Now he follows Moreno right back to the other corner. Put a likeness facially to Ray Bumu Mancini. As far as Pezienza is concerned, people are comparing him. It's uh, difficult for me to understand why Paz really is going in with his head up high and his hands down. He's inviting a left hook and a right cross on the part of Moreno. comes in with a tremendous left hook followed by a right cross and that's the way he follows up and this is another angle with that left hook a beautiful left hook the left hook is really what did it now watch what happens now pazienza got reckless he raced in and there is that left uppercut left hook that moreno threw and there it is and he is just well the right hand really did it he did not go all the way down however just to one knee and up Stay in the corner, stay in the corner. Stay in the corner. Nice box. Come on. Round three, scheduled for six. That's a tough act to follow. Benny Pazienza in the white. Ricardo Moreno in the red. Two warriors. Look at those lefts. A succession of lefts by Pazienza to the face of Moreno. Oh, a right uppercut by Pazienza to the box. chin. That's it. As we said before, Steve, Moreno is going to be a very, very good fighter. He has recuperative powers. He's game. He just barely made that nine count. He just made it in up, and then he went right at him. Here's that combination by Paz looking to unload once again, but you're right. Moreno with a tremendous ability to take a punch. Moreno has a lot of respect for Paz. You can see the way he's backing up. He's being very, very careful. Paz is very elusive, able to duck around those punches by Moreno. Lou Dubo is extremely annoyed at Paz. He's in his corner and he just got annoyed because he left himself wide open because of his anxiety to knock him out. He dropped his hands. Very busy, Vinny Pazienza, non-stop action. Pazienza has a little left uh, eye swelling. It's red and just slowly swelling and I hope they have what they call that little gadget, the end swell, to press it out. A solid shot by Benny Paz. You can hear the thump of the last throw. And that right cross, Steve, you were right, hit him right on the chin beautifully. We 
Good combination again by Pazienza. I like it out of nice and easy. Nice and easy. easy. These two easy. young men nice really easy. have to be Let's complimented. Go. They're relatively new in the field of boxing, except Paz has had an awful lot of amateur experience all over the world. What a right hand. Another impressive right. Now there's the wind up the polo by Vinny Paz. There's that hot dog coming out, and now Moreno comes back again. Moreno is very, very, very tough. He's still. All these Mexican fighters are that way. They were brought up hungry, and they are hungry, and they want to win. Now Benny Paz going to the body, too. Very entertaining, lightweight. Here, Las Vegas. Big left by Benny Paz, but didn't make contact. I would like to see Paz kind of take it a little easy because of the heat here. He might just, uh, he might tire himself out entirely. Ooh, and they both punched at the same time. There's that slapping left by Pazienza to the side of Moreno's face. Moreno looks like he's getting arm weary now as he's backed up. Paz has shown a tremendous improvement in his punch power. Beautiful left oh. by Paz. Five. And Marino's down his head. He's right above his head. He can hardly Six. focus Eight. into it. Right Nine. at the bell. Ricardo Marino goes down Five. for the Five. second Five. time of the fight. Five. And he's going to make Five. it through. We will continue Five. on. Joey Curtis is going to the corner. Take a seat We don't know. He, we don't know. No, no, no. No, no. no. Not over. This thing is no. not over. Count him out. No, I did not count him out. Okay. Hey. I didn't count him out. I didn't count him out. The fight is still continuing. Well, he's going to the corner. Marino thought it was over. Confusion in the ranks now. Curtis says it's over. The fight is over. He doesn't know it yet. Now he is informed, and Vinny Paz remains undefeated at 6 and 0 with six knockouts. I just don't understand why he did that. He told the man to bring the stool out to sit him down. Uh, he uh, he could have given him a standing eight count, but he did not. That's permissible in the Las Vegas rules, a standing eight count. Good sportsmanship on behalf of Vinny Paz as he went over to see if Moreno was all right. Let's take a look. And let me tell you, that was a tremendous left hook on us. Oh, it was a beauty. It was right up above us, and we knew that he wouldn't get up. He was hurt. The referee probably wanted to give him a standing eight count and asked for the stool to come out. But that's the time the fight really should have been stopped at that time. Well, we'll see if it's a knockout or a TKO as Ricardo Moreno loses his first bout in three professional fights. He's now two and one. We'll get the official word from ring announcer Chuck Hall momentarily. There's your victor, Vinny Paz. Chuck Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joey Curtis stops the contest at two minutes, 42 seconds of the third round. The winner and still undefeated, Lenny Pazianza. Well, it's apparently a TKO as Chuck.